Hi Virgo, it's the weekly reading for the sign of Virgo. My beautiful friends, welcome to this space. It's wonderful to have you here. Um, I'm happy to be here. Let's go ahead and dig in here and see what we have coming out for you, Virgo, for this week, the week ahead. Queen of Pentacles, starting in with the Queen of Pentacles. Look at the Empress energy flipped over as well. All right, let's see what's here, Virgo. Let's see what's here. We have the Three of Swords and the Four of Cups. Virgo, and this doesn't surprise me, and gosh, maybe I should just stop this recording and start a new reading, but I'm not going to. That goes against some weird principle I have. Um, and it doesn't surprise me that I have this reading coming in. I just, like, basically going into your energy, Virgo, has been painful for me, and I just got done wiping my eyes, and my throat is even hurting, and gosh, it is it is hard energy, Virgo. So for those of you that I'm connecting in, you are in this week, and you are upset. Like, there's something that really has been difficult for you, Virgo. I am not kidding. There's something that has been very difficult for you. I think that in the next week, you are in an emotional space about it. It does something to your heart center. It does something to you, Virgo. Um, you could even be getting sick about this. Like, I don't know what it is. It's something that's very hard for you. It's very hard to take. It's very hard to understand. It's got you at the most uh, deepest, like, so, I don't know. It just hits you really hard, um, whatever this is. I'm going to go into the Three of Swords now, Virgo. Knight of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. What is this? This is so strange. Um, it's something that really comes in and it affects you. Now, what's around it? Well, we have the Knight of Pentacles. There's been some forward movement here, uh, Virgo. I, I do feel like some um, some improvements have been have been coming in. I do feel like there's love here. I feel like there's um, hearts here that care about one each other, one one another. I feel like there is love here. There's brokenness here, but there's love, and it's growing, um, and it's becoming more than it was before. Uh, and there's also progress being made, Virgo. But there's such heartache here. I don't even know what this is. Um, it's it's something that keeps me like in a painful place, even though there's goodness happening, I'm still in this painful place. Um, Virgo, as you're moving into the week, like things are happening. Here you are, feminine Virgo, queen of pentacles, and life is moving forward. Um, things are happening. You're, you're at, at a place that's okay. You know, you're managing the money. You're feeling good about yourself. Um, you're in control of your situation and life is moving forward, but you have a broken heart or there's some sort of emotional disturbance here that's so hard. Um, could be about a pet, could be about a child, could be about a lover, could be about work. It could be about so many things that there's like a broken heartedness here. But when we dig deeper, it's like there's been progress made, some stable progress made here with the Knight of Pentacles. Um, and we have this heart center, this love that's that's growing and rekindling. Or maybe growing out of nowhere. But Ace of Cups is new love, new health, new strength coming in. If we move the Ace of Swords up over the, char uh, over the Chariot Energy and over the Tower, we see you in this deep worry and concern. That said, like, life is moving forward. Whatever's happening here is continuing to happen. Virgo, it looks like in the middle of the week, there's some sort of surprise that comes in, some sort of news, perhaps, or some sort of surprise that comes in. It's connected to the sun, so it comes in with a lot of exuberance, a lot of passion. It could be something that's ultimately, like, very good news, could be something that happens that's like the opposite of what you thought. I do think there's a pleasant surprise here. Could be a solution that's coming in. Could be some news that you hear. I do think it's big and I think it has a lot of passion behind it. A lot of the sun. I mean, whatever you're connecting to that would be so great, Virgo. Like, like what would be the answer to your prayers? Like that is has this 
tangible quality here in the middle of the week. Now, this is just a weekly reading. So I know I'm being really dramatic here, Virgo, but, you know, uh, I do feel like there is something here that is around you that's been really bothering you. And there's some sort of solution or some sort of message that comes in in the middle of the week that I think, Virgo, is a great surprise. I think it 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 um, co connects in directly into your broken heartedness that you have. Something that's a big surprise, something that's very helpful. And it connects in directly into this big problem that's that's around. And it comes out of the throat. So it has to do with like expression and willpower and ego and and who's right and who's wrong and and what happened, what caused this, and how did this work, and how was this? There's all kinds of these deeper, darker questions here, but there is some sort of burst here, a bursting in of goodness, which I believe is like a beautiful solution, Virgo. And as you move through the week, I mean, you move from this place of deep hurt and strife and anxiety and worry, you move into a place of like, yeah, yeah, I'm not sure. Hmm. So I do think the situation is getting better, and I do think that, that there is a tension to this, and there is a warm-heartedness to this, and there's a solution-finding energy around this. Um, how you ultimately respond to this big surprise or this big um, incoming piece of information, it's kind of like, eh, I don't know. I don't know if I like it. I don't know how to think about it. I don't know what to do about it. I think you're feeling a little bit defensive here, but also like, I don't know, like this isn't really what I was expecting. I'm not sure what I think of this. And you're looking directly at this tower energy. Um, there's something here that you're not too sure about. I mean, you're, you're not stepping away from it and you're recognizing the importance of it. You're recognizing the strength of it, the bounty of it. But for one reason or another, uh, you're still not totally on board with this. You're still not totally on board with this here. Um, and as you're moving out of the week, you're moving through the devil energy into the five of wands. I think you're seeing some complexity here, Virgo. There's something here that you're afraid of, something here that has you worried. I mean, for for real, you have something that's going on that's been really difficult. I mean, I know life is going on and going forward, and I know you're doing okay. I know you're doing okay, but there's no getting around that there's been a real hardship here, Virgo. And for one reason or another, you're not really too excited about this sun, this this bursting solution. You're not so excited about that. And I think there's still some things that you're worried about here, some things that really haven't been addressed. Like there's there's more to this story. There's more to the story. It's not so simple as that. It's not so easy as that. That's how it feels like you're you're saying. And I think as you're moving out of the end of this week, Virgo, I do think that there is some sort of complexity that comes in or come, some sort of um, argument that you could get in or, or there, there's a way forward now. There's, there is a way to respond, Virgo. There is a way to respond to this. There is a way to move forward. And I think what I'm seeing here is you, you are realizing like there's some holes to this story or there's some more work to be done here. Or there's some more things to think about here. And I think you're spending a little bit of time like kind of digging into this. Like, why am I feeling like this? What am I seeing? Um, what, what needs to be cleared out? Because the devil energy is here connecting in with the sun. So even though the sun's here, you're still not overly excited about this and i know virgo that there are some real reasons for this and i believe by the end of the week you're in the process of bringing those forward i don't know if this is in a family situation or if this is at work uh but let's go a little deeper into the five of wands queen of cups virgo i think what you're doing is like saying what's on your mind, making sure that you feel good about your perspective, making sure that you're in awareness of how you're feeling and what you would do and how you would move forward in this and what you would do, right? It's almost like um, I've got to make sure that I stay in a healthy position. I need to make sure I'm fulfilling my own role. I need to understand what is helping me to see 
the the situation to see the problems i need to kind of there's a lot of like okay how am i going to work through this first of all like what is upsetting to me i think you're kind of realizing like what is upsetting does it feel healthy does it feel positive does it feel like it's in a healing place like there's something here that you're still not totally in agreement with and i do think you're bringing that forward from your own perspective here with the queen of cups um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, feminine energy, strength. And this might be hard for you, Virgo. And I think you are being really careful. I'm um, really careful to harness, harness the beast within, because I do think like your inner being has something to say. I do think there's something here, Virgo, that has been really deeply upsetting. And even though you're being asked here with a five energy to stay, um, in a, in a relatively, uh, manageable place. I, I do think you're being careful about the things that you say, the actions that you take. I mean, what you're doing here is you're really trying to bring the situation into a better place. And I think you're realizing, okay, I need to be careful here. What I say, there, there could be someone here who's quite sensitive. There could be someone here who's really gone through something really difficult. And, and I, I need to be aware of that. I mean, those kind of thoughts could be here. Queen of Cups with a strength energy. Being careful to understand that one person's perspective and one person's way of healing and one person's way of finding safety and security and finding that love for life is maybe different from person to person and kind of realizing that. But there is fear and concern here, Virgo. Let's look into the sun energy. Let's look into the sun energy. Page of Swords, yeah. Looking at it like, hmm. Well, this is really interesting. This is really big and bold. This this answer is so bright. This response is so bright. This idea is so bright that it's hard to even look into it. And because it's so bright and because it's hard to look into it, I'm not quite sure what's in there, you know? I'm not quite sure what's in there. I'm not really sure I'm going to trust this sun that's coming in Nine of Pentacles. Oh boy, I mean, there's somebody's, somebody's here who's doing it their own way, that's for sure. And there is this um, ability to stand alone and to stand strong. And I do feel like there is a way forward into financial freedom here as well. I think that, it, that there are improvements that could be connected to with the sun. I think there's a person here, or there's a situation here that does have the potential to really do quite well for themselves. But is it something that's feasible? Is it something that's doable? Virgo, I think you have a lot of questions. And by the end of the week, um, I do feel like you, you have found some way to, to bring these forward. I really do. I think you're being careful because we did have the strength energy coming forward. But I think you are bringing these forward out um, into the open. Let me go into this tower. I want to go into this tower really quick. Tower energy. Power energy. Power energy. We have the Knight of Swords, Air, uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Um, we have the King of Wands flipping in in the reverse. Well, I mean, this situation has the king of wands in the reverse and he came out in the upright and kind of slid into the reverse i feel at one time the king of wands was in the upright at one time the king of wands made some big action or made some big step or there was some something big that happened here could have been connected to an air sign it could have been connected to a humanitarian effort or some kind of uh, event or a way of thinking or a mindset that really is connected into a mass group or into a unique perspective or into a, a, some sort of um, new perspective or a new invention of some kind. King of Swords can get quite out there, although he normally can stay very level-headed. Um, but yeah, this could be this could have been connected to some sort of 
new and interesting path that has opened up or some sort of major changes come in connected to an idea or to a vision or to some sort of humanitarian event. And then we have the King of Wands here. Uh, this could have really been something big. It could have really demanded a lot of you, Virgo, or of the person here. Um, but right now they're in a position, this is a, in a situation, in a position of, of um, restraint and constraint and control. But I still think the vision is there. The path is there. The long-term strength is there. And the ability to make good decisions is, st is still there. Is this something that's going to scare people? It's going to wake people up? It's going to make them look? Absolutely. And I think, Virgo, maybe that's partly of what happened, that this King of Wands ultimately will need to be in the upright position again. And for right now, the King of Wands has been put in the reverse. There's no action being taken. Somebody's vitality, somebody's income, um, somebody's force has been um, diminished here. But the vision is still there. The logic is still there. The ability to stay cool and con and collected in the storm is still there. So I, I do feel like there's some sort of movement to get this going again in some kind of way. Bro, I'm not sure if you're too excited about the way it's moving. I really am not too, I, I just, you have some concerns about this. You really do. And I, I do think that you're going to be bringing up your, your concerns at the end of the week. Okay, my friends, I am going to move to the extended now. Oh boy, this is really in the throat. We're going to look to see how this continues to move forward. I am also going to pull a full spread for love and romance and precious relationships. That will be a completely different spread. I will look at money for Virgo, and we are going to look at a couple of animal cards as well. All right, so I am moving to the extended now. For those who would like to follow me there, there's a link um, in the video description box. And Virgo, I have changed my camera settings. So if you have found the video stopping and starting, I um, have a new camera and I had it on a really high resolution. So I've lowered the resolution um, and hopefully that will help the streaming um, be a lot better. For the first time in a lot of, long time, I've had a couple of people email me about that. And I think it has to do with my new camera and the setting I had it on. So I've um, downgraded that a little bit. So hopefully the, the streaming will go smoothly, but let me know if there's glitches. I'll, I'll continue to work with it. All right, my friends, I am moving to the extended now. For the rest of you, um, thank you for being here. It's a pleasure to read for you, Virgo. I wish you the, the best this week and thank you all.